Building a fire to burn green wood. William Hovey Smith, 2017. I'm Hovey Smith, a backyard sportsman, and also the author of Backyard Deer Hunting. And here, we're burning up some green wood without throwing an old tire or using any petroleum products as fire-starting materials. It is shortly after sunrise this morning, and we've had a heavy dew on the ground. Now I have stacked this pile to burn green chinaberry and wisteria vines. And we've layered it up, and you'll see a series of still photos following that shows actually how this pile was built. But this is what you have to do if you're going to ignite and burn green wood successfully. Now when you have storms, uh, you have live trees that are felled, so you don't have any choice. If you're going to dispose of this in a reasonable manner, yeah, you pretty well have to burn it. Uh, here in rural Georgia, that's no problem. I keep a small burn pile in my yard. Uh, you see there's grass all around. And we burn it in still damp weather as I'm doing right now. And so we're going to get this thing going. The popping you hear are actually china berries. The fire is now well caught and the pine straw is burning good. You can see the flames are doing exactly what they needed to do. That is to start heating those top pieces of larger wood so we can ultimately dry them out enough so that they will also burn. Smoke is going straight up, there's no wind. This is a good time to dispose of that pile. And we'll rejoin the fire after a bit and when it starts to burn down a little. This is a mess we started with. Here we're pulling some cut pieces and wisteria vine out of the hedgerow. And here you see a close up of this tangle. And now I've started the pine straw on the top of the pile, and this is my core, and I've added dry oak wood on top of that. Now goes the rest of the vine and limbs and the larger trunk sections on the very top. The heat from the more readily combustible materials down in the bottom of that layered pile is proceeding now to heat those green logs and limb segments that are on top. But they're still not dry enough to burn yet, but they will catch. You can see some deep reds down there in the bottom of the flame. Uh, that is a very hot core in a fire indeed. Now that a lot of viney stuff has burned from the interior, I'm going to see if I can pull some more of this on the top of the flames.
That's good. That, uh, that will get a lot of that wisteria vine burned up. Well, I have succeeded in my objective. Uh, the green wood is now catching and burning. Uh, even the larger pieces, you can see the very distinct cracks on the ends of that larger log right on top of the flame. Yes, uh, that is a very hot fire indeed. I've just piled a few new branches on top of it. And now I can continue to add to the pile. While putting more of the material on the edge of the fire into the center, I'm now dragging up fresh material with my lawn tractor to get that started on that hot bed of coal. So now I've burned a lot of wood and waste material down to ash. Now this ash has value. It will raise the pH of acid soils, such as we have in the southeast. So ultimately this will go on my food plot. I am the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, Converting Deer to Dunner for Pennies Per Pound, and other prize-winning books. These include extreme muzzleloading, crossbow hunting, practical bow fishing, and a series of e-books on muzzleloading guns. The e-books include muzzleloaders for hunters, shooting and maintaining your muzzleloader, and hunting with muzzleloading shotguns and smoothbore muskets. This burning was done on a still day following a heavy dew. I used the pine straw instead of an old tire or waste oil or gas to start the blaze out of environmental concerns. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 650 videos, you can go to my website, www.hovysmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.